Lithuania, a competitive state in space. Just listen to those words. And, uh, but it's really so far away and reachable as we think. Uh, or is it only a constraint in our mind? Because the real USA, Germany, China, Japan, and etc., occupied every bit of industry, of space industry, and there's not even the point of trying joining the club. Duh, it's a rocket science, people tell me. We don't have enough money, people tell me. We don't have competence, people tell me. And there is only one answer for people like that. Bullshit. That's totally bullshit. I'm 23 years old, economics and politics graduate, who refuses to believe that we as a nation have any limits. I refuse to believe that something is destined not to be achieved by us. And I, believe, and I believe that it's only a matter of perspective and work ethics that keeps us from reaching the stars, literally. You don't have an idea how many times I heard words like, don't waste your time, you're not a scientist, you're not one of us, go and manage something or blah, blah, blah. But those wonders of our universe, those wonders that I could talk for the rest of the session right now or for the rest of the day, those questions that are not answered about the existence and the presence overall, those questions won't let me to listen to other people. I need answers and I just can't leave them hanging. So one and a half, one and a half years ago, I started digging. I started digging so hard that I even forgot that I'm an economics and politics student with a job background in marketing and project management. Uh, I caught myself so deep in it that it felt like being home. It felt that this is my future, that this is worth working for, that this is our future. Uh, again, people ask me, uh, why this is our future? Why we should care about space when we have so much problems down here? Why moreover we should invest money into space exploration? And it's totally understandable why people don't know why. They don't know that if not the space exploration, we wouldn't have so such comfor comfortable sleep every night because it was NASA that uh, developed uh, memory foam. Did I know that space exploration gave us heart pump, insulin pump, and helped millions of people all around the world? Did I know that uh, cordless tools, solar panels, smoke detectors, workout machines, and even firefighters gear were developed or improved in the need of space exploration? And these are only few examples of extraordinary technical and scientific achievements that we use every day and brings an amazing uh, economical advantage for the providers. And space is not the only sphere that we need to be concerned about. Science overall loses the interest of the society. They lose the interest of young people. And even our well-known success case as laser industry feels shortage of young people because they are not interested. In my opinion, for that reason, the very first step that we need to make in order to become a space country is to let those people know why and to introduce the science and technology topic as interesting as it is. We need to show that it's not only a boring paper writing or meaningless functions. We need to show them where it leads. And I can talk from my own experience as a young guy that escaped the educational system only three months ago but the university was fine. Well, I wouldn't exchange the four years of my life for anything else. But school, what's up with school? Maybe you know what's up with school because science education is not what it's supposed to be. It bored me. I hated physics, I hated, I hated biology, I merely tolerated math because no one of them showed me what is the meaning of it, what is the outcome, what tremendous possibilities you can find. They didn't tell me that if you learn physics enough, Later on, that could lead me to undisclosed discoveries and explorations. Understand it now, of course, but then I was only a girl's attention driven teenage boy that thought about sports more about his future. And I really don't know the right answer. I really don't know how the whole educational system works, but I believe that showing not only the process of science, but also the outcome and the meaning of it would do so much more for the kids. Well, at least it would have helped me. The second step is really related to the first one, but I would just want to highlight that the young people that I'm talking about who can make a positive impact in the future won't be able to do that positive 
impact in the future if society in the future won't let them to do that. I think we all know how public spending works, that politician tries to satisfy his own electorate and blah, blah, blah. So we need to invest more into popularization of science. We need that median voter would understand the benefits and meaning of it. And this case calls for action. We need to do something. And there are some projects going about that in Lithuania, but of course, it's not enough. So at this moment, my team and I will focus on the long-term actions, how to implement the popularization of science into everyday life. We now have two ongoing projects. The first one is Techo.lt. It's a portal that spreads the word about the exciting, exciting and thrilling side of the science, and you can find articles from space exploration to culture, do it yourself, and etc. We also have Cosmonauto Pusirce, a monthly event in, in Vilnius uh, where Space enthusiasts gathers around, listens to various lecturers, and discuss some ideas afterwards. And we just had the, the launch of second season, and we see the popularity grows. New people come, new faces come. They love to talk about science. People love to talk and listen about space. So in the near future, we have two more major milestones. Next year in October, we're planning to have a space festival based in Vilnius and discuss the prospects of humankind on becoming multiplanetary species. And we'll discuss it with top specialists from space agencies, private entities, and academia. And we also gonna try to reach an extraordinary goal to build a Mars habitat in two days by our own hands. Second, we want to start teaching our scientists to communicate about science. We live in an era where People like Neil deGrasse Tyson or Bill Nye and others are international superstars. They're not singers, they're not actors, they're not artists, but they are superstars. And a lot of kids chose to pursue science only because they saw that this is exciting and thrilling from those personalities. And we need people like that in Lithuania. We need them to talk to society and show that this is one world and science is not a separate world. Uh, of course, Talking is never not enough. We need to take more actions. And in my opinion, the best way for Lithuania to move on is to create a possibility to act and bring exact nature and social sciences, uh, <coughs> sciences closer together in cooperation. We have wonderful infrastructure in Lithuania that is not used enough. As my very good pal from Science World once told me, well, now we have new walls with old approach. And he is right, nothing really changed. So we need a serious program that would create possibilities to build new stuff and commercialize them, and most importantly, untie its hands simply for people with ideas and great desires and not tied money to academic or other institutions. And in my opinion, there are two ways of doing that. First, we can take an example of Luxembourg, where 300 million euros are now waiting for companies that are ready to mine asteroids in the future. So as well, we could orient it into one sphere, devote some funding, devote some legal frameworks, and attract new companies. We have some uh, advanced industries as lasers and biotechnology that we could take advantage of. But the main question here is, does top bottom system work in Lithuania? And in my opinion, not so much. So the second choice, and it's my favorite one, is to make Lithuania a hotspot of space startups and projects by creating an environment that would attract hungry people to, bu to build new stuff right here. We are known as an entrepreneurial country, not only in the region, international as well. We have tons of people who are ready to chase their dreams. We only need to show them that space industry can be a place of expression as well. That's why we need a serious conversation program that would provide some kickoff points for risk or projects and more importantly, would bring different specialization people into one place. Because yes, we still think in Lithuania that managers are worthless in science world. And this approach keeps us far behind. And it's, it just makes me sad because we have such tremendous uh, possibilities and, and the potential, and we just not use them because we're good at R&D, but we're hopeless at commercialization and technology transfer. So last year, after an amazing experience visiting NASA, SpaceX, and other major space players, 
and by seeing how they work and what they do, uh, idea of Space Lab came up <coughs> came alive in my head. And next year, we're kicking off Space Lab in the full strength, where where any people with space industry-based idea can participate, can receive uh, a needed infrastructure, a starting funds, a network, and most importantly, all the help from management side in order to bring their ideas alive and commercialize them. And only in this way, we can start an engine and hope that enough, with enough efforts, it will run. We already had one project named Lithuanian Lunar Mission, which aim was to create an autonomous food growing system that would allow grow uh, fresh and organic food independently in the most harsh environment, and in this case, on the moon. Uh, we had the first prototype, we even had a contractor for a ride to the moon, but sadly, as most kickoff projects, it has to be stopped for different reasons. But the people I met, the know-how I got from that, creates a hope for me that now I can build something that's more sustainable and do not repeat the same mistakes and help others. Because we've been there, we, see, we saw how you need to, what you need to do to become the space country, and we can help others. Fourth, we cannot do everything by ourselves. And as much as not so a uh, sexy point, or, or as much as uh, <laughs> I'm disappointed already about that, government needs to be involved. We need to pursue technology transfer agreements with partner countries. We need to finally become a full member of, of European Space Agency, and we need our government to start taking not only space, but science overall more seriously. This is our future, and we cannot wait even more, because later on can be too late. People do stuff, people organize, this, <coughs> organize themselves, but if government will wait every time till something is done from the other side, the time lag between demand of actions and the supply of actions can be devastating, and not, for the in, not only for the initiatives of Space Lab, but for other private projects and uh, private and individual projects. So we can start an engine. We can build a critical mass of people that would shake things up. We even can overcome crossroads to do that. But in order for it to, make, to become sustainable, it has to take more serious position in political agenda. So in my opinion, the first steps that we need to take are pretty clear and, based, and they're simple. We need to show kids that science is interesting and it has meaning, not only the process. We need to start communicating about science as it is, and not divide society from, by creating an illusion that it's unreachable and so far away from their lives. We need to have scientists who would be able to inspire people. We need to create a kickoff point for technology commercialization in space startups. We need to teach scientists to work together with managers. And finally, we need to push up science and political agenda, work out international agreements, and participate in ESA life, because this is the only way to show our determination in the international arena. But I don't say that every resource that government or people have should be determined to space industry. Of course not. Space is a bundle of all kinds of science fields that exist. I say, let's give people an environment where they could rock the science, and most importantly, commercialize it and earn for a decent living from a work that drives them forward. Every little advancement in any science field drives us closer to being a space state. We just need to be ready to adapt them in a proper way. Uh, so just let's take, of, take use of people that are ready here and now to lead Lithuania into first rows of space arena. Let's give them a chance. Let's put some trust in them, and amazing things will happen. Mark my words. Thanks. <laughs>